whatsoever and it really sucks to know you know he le he left us at a very at a very young age you know and uh i wish i could have seen him more and uh as of right now i think that's as much i could say about more you know Hey man, thank you so much for sharing those special stories with Mort57. I appreciate you sharing that history with us, bro. Now, you mentioned that you were on the streets at 14 and 15, uh, causing a ruckus, being a menace. Where does your mom think you're at late in the hours of the night? <laughs> Where do you tell her you're going? I don't think she had uh, any idea because um, at first she had no idea because she was sleeping at the time you know she had to uh, you know get a rest before work and um yeah it would stink out at night and um if not you know fucking another friend would cover for me you know like let's say his mother would cover you know like hit up my mom and be like oh he's sleeping over but really we're gonna go do something else until i think it came to a time i think i took her car you know and she was always uh positive with graffiti at the same time, she was just kind of scratching her head, like, is this just a phase? But then one day, I think I, I, I had paint on my hands, and um, she looked at the steering wheel, and we went to go take a picture of one of my spots. And she kind of connected the dots, and she was like, wait a minute. You took my car out last night? Because if you did that last night, that's that color is on my steering wheel. And, you know, I got burnt out, you know. She's like, why are you? driving around without a permit or a license or anything like you know you could get caught for this shit you know and at that she was just kind of like yo you know just just let me know when you want me to drop you off i'll drop you off somewhere you know i was like all right for sure but um my mom's always uh you know we've always had we didn't always have the best relationship but one thing i will never forget about this woman is the fact that I was out with a couple of friends, so these individuals do not paint. They're just high school buddies, you know? And they wanted to, you know, go out with me and support me, you know, fucking as I hit, um, I think either we were on the side of a freeway or we were at the train tracks. It's one of those two. I remember my friends get out the car. My mom grabs me. She's like, hey, no matter what, I know damn well you're not going to listen to me. But if this if this is what you really want to do, and if it's not just a phase, don't just do this shit and do all these little chicken scratches like everyone else does. If you're going to do this shit, be serious about it, and I want you to be the best at that. You know, and that, that really always stuck to me, you know, like, damn, like. I've never gotten any positive feedback from my mother, you know? She was uh, exactly how people bring back how their childhood was, you know, with the chancla or the motherfucking, you know, the bell or something. That lady has never said anything positive to me. And uh, she was just like, you got to go hard, you know? Like, if you're going to do this, put your heart into it and be the best you could be at it, you know? Don't just do this just because it's the cool thing to do or this is just the time in your life that you're doing this. Go all in, you know. You're risking your life and your freedom for this. Then go all in. Make sure you be the best at it, you know. I remember even one time, not that long ago, I think it was uh, actually, rest in peace, Kobe. Right when he passed away, I remember I hit the bridge um, right there off of Western and the 101. And... Um, we're out eating and um, I showed her, you know, I was so excited, you know, because this is the first time I've ever hit a, a bridge on the freeway from one end to the other, you know. I mean, maybe there's a couple little feet missing, but um, yeah, you know, and uh, we passed by, you know, I'm, I'm stoked with it, you know. My mom just looks at me like, in Spanish, you know, the fuck were you doing up there? And I'm like. Doing a, you know, a tribute to Kobe. Yeah, I see that. That shit looks whack. I'm just looking at it, you know, like my, my eagle is up here and it just dropped down. I'm like, what the, f what the fuck, you know? She's like, one, I know damn well you could do better letters than that. Second, 
those letters are not even structured right. Do that shit better next time. I was like, I, I did not know how to feel. I was just kind of like, what the fuck? Like, you know how hard it is to hit a fucking bridge? And uh, at the same time, like, I think she's, uh, you know, like telling me, complimenting me. Like, hey, I can see you do better, do better, you know? So I was just kind of uh, definitely hit by a brick with that, you know?